Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this great session, which was put together for us by Pete Deneur, one of our senior product managers. During this session, we'll explore some of the exciting new features and enhancements that have been introduced for point clouds in BricsCAD v25. From enhanced data import options to improved rendering techniques, we've focused on expanding our capabilities to meet your needs. As part of our ongoing commitment to supporting Open Data Exchange, we've added new point cloud formats to enhance your workflows. In addition to the formats already available in v24, in v25, you can now import Rigel, RDBX, and RSP formats, ZNS, dot ZFS format, and Leica's new LGSX format. Now, since Leica's LGSX format closely resembles uh, our internal HSPC format, which is Hexagon Smart Point Cloud format, you can instantly view the points on screen without waiting for the pre-processing to complete. That means you get to your end point cloud visualization quicker. Additionally, we now support importing panoramic images from non-structured scans when available. These are presented as blue bubbles, which are similar to the green bubbles used for structured scans. And this provides an extra layer of visualization, adding depth to how you can explore your data sets. We've received many requests to enhance the visual quality of point clouds, and in response, we've added several new rendering techniques, which are seamlessly integrated into a new render settings panel. Uh, alongside existing options that you already know, you'll find that now you can toggle bubbles on and off. You can also adjust the bubble size. There's a slider for adaptive point size display, and you can set custom point sizes. New features that we've introduced in V25 include dollhouse rendering, which offers you improved insight into the interior of a point cloud. There's also eye dome lighting. This adds a shadow effect, which works especially well with point clouds that lack color data or in combination with color maps. Another rendering technique we've added is gap filling, which fills low density areas of a point cloud with neighboring points, which improves the visual continuity of the point cloud without altering the original data. We've also enhanced our automatic point cloud classifier and introduced a robust manual classification tool. This one allows you to either fine tune the automatic classification or manually classify from scratch. And what's more, Classifications can now be visualized using color maps, providing you more insight into your point cloud data. If you're using BricsCAD BIM, our scan to BIM process has been significantly streamlined. Room detection's been improved, and we've made it simpler to convert rooms into walls, slabs, and ceilings. This makes it easier and faster than ever to go from point cloud data to a basic BIM model in just a few clicks. Now, these are just some of the key point cloud improvements in BricsCAD v25. I'd like to thank you for joining us. And as always, if you want to know more about the great functionality we've introduced in v25, feel free to check out our other breakout sessions. You guys take care now.